Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make an LA unstackable item sorter. This item sorter can sort out all the unstackable items in the game, and it allows to have 8 LA's for every 9 blocks. Or basically, 8 items can be sorted out for every 9 blocks of space. So this makes it perfect to be used in massive storage systems, which store all items in the game. Let's get right on to the tutorial. Alright, so these are the materials. First of all, you need some chests and hoppers to store the items that you want to sort out, of course. And then these items over here are the items that you will need for every single unstackable item you want to sort out. These blocks over here can be any building block which is solid, however this does have to be wool. Then this spawning is just an LA that you will need for the sorter. In order to bring the LAs into the correct spot, the use of leads and an item is recommended. And this button over here is to spawn proof it from the bats. Then to set up the sorter in the correct way, you will need temporary blocks, piston and something that can power it. And as I said before, you can have 8 items sorted for every 9 blocks. And that's because each 9th block you will need these materials to be able to transport the items. And then, at the beginning of the item sorter, you will need a way to dispense the items into the sorter. So these are the materials that you will be needing to set up a system which dispenses items in the correct speed. Depending on how you decide to do it, you will need more or less redstone and building blocks. Alright, so before you build anything, you want to make sure that your chest array is facing in the north south direction of the world as you can see here in the f3 screen if i look in this direction it is south and then if i change 180 degrees and look in the other direction it is north this is essential for the item sorter and will not work otherwise why you may ask is because if you have a row of hoppers in the direction of south to north or north to south and then you place a rail facing west east and then you place a hopper minecart on top. When you break the rail, the hopper minecart faces the same direction that it was facing when it was on top of the rail. Otherwise, if you place a rail facing in the north-south direction, and then you place a hopper minecart on top, or any minecart, and then break it, the minecart would change 90 degrees into the direction west-east, as it is in this case. And so if you would have a row of hoppers facing in this direction, the hopper minecart would change direction and now it just won't work. So start off by making any chest array that fits your needs, but don't place more than 8 chests in a row. Alright, so let's say this is your chest array. As you can see, there is no more than 8 chests in a row without at least a 1 block gap in the middle. So now what you want to do is on top of every single row of chests, which will correspond to an item you want to sort out, you want to place a row of hoppers facing down. I want to place a rail on top of the hopper facing in the west-east direction. And then place a hopper minecart on top, break the rail, and then the hopper minecart will stay in a perfect position. Repeat this for every single hopper you want to have sort out an item. When you've done that, put 5 temporary blocks on the back side of the hoppers. Now take your stone cutter and place it on top of the hopper minecart. Then take your block of redstone and place it on the top temporary block. And then place a piston facing down. And push the stone cutter into the hopper minecart. Repeat this for every single hopper minecart you have. When you've done that, build up three temporary blocks on the back side of the hopper and place a temporary block on top of the hopper minecart. Now place a second row of temporary blocks on the side and make some walls. Now it's time to bring in your LA's. The easiest way to do this is to bring them in with the lead attached to them and with the item you want to sort out given to them so that they can follow you everywhere. Then you want to place two rails and the minecart on top. Then you take your LA and put it inside of the minecart like that. Now would be a good time to give it the item you want to sort out. So for example, in this case, we can give it a minecart. When you have made sure that the LA is directly above the block of the hopper minecart, you can break this and it will fall right on top. Now repeat this for every single hopper minecart. So once you're at this part, keep a list of all the items you have given the LA so that you know what they sort out. All right, so now is a good time to come in and place in the stairs around the hoppers on each side without missing the gap. Then place a row of your blocks to cover up the first layer of minecarts or the hopper minecarts. And in this case, you want to add a block also in the gap. 
Now your system should look like this. Now you want to come in with your wool blocks and in the first delay place in two blocks. And then the second delay place it on the other side. Now keep alternating the sides. When you reach the gap, just continue alternating as normal. Now just cover up the gap by placing two wool blocks on both sides of the gap. Alright, so now it's time to come in and place your slabs. Build a row of temporary blocks which is two blocks high on the back side of the hoppers. Now what we want to do is place the slab right where the LA is, right on top of this head. But we cannot place it directly, so we need to push it down one block. For that, you need to place a slab right in this spot. Now repeat this and place it around all the other blocks. Now place a row of temporary blocks like this. And place your pistons facing down, right in this spot. You can go in through the gaps of the wool blocks to have an easier time placing the pistons. Now what you want to do is remove these temporary blocks and place redstone blocks all around to push the pistons down. Now break all the pistons and redstone blocks and temporary blocks and your system should be looking like this right now. The lace should be in a very compact spot which looks something like this. Now is a good time to come in and place your second row of stairs over here. Make sure the stairs are facing down. Now wherever you have a gap in front of the wool, place whatever block you're gonna put under the node block. In this case it is amethyst. And then place the node block on top. Now when you hit the node block you should confirm that only the LA that is right in front of the node block picks up the signal. And as you can see that is the case. Repeat this for every single gap you have left in front of the wool. Now your system should look something like this. And every LA should only be picking up their node block. Now go ahead and place building blocks in between the gaps of the amethyst. Now come in with your stairs and place a stair facing this direction in front of every single node block. Make sure the stair is blocking up this side and the top. And make sure that the bottom is open. That slab we placed in the gap, you can go ahead and break it and replace it with a packed ice. Now this is when you have to decide what is going to be the front and the back of your build. Let's say that this is going to be the front. If this is the front, then the items should be dispensed from this side and the redstone current to activate the node blocks should come out from this side. Therefore, we need to place the observers facing in that direction. Place observers to fill up every single gap in between the node blocks. Now your system should look something like this. If you haven't yet, now is a good time to go down here and place a block to fill in that gap. Now you can come in and place stairs on top of these blocks. It is now up to you what you want to do with the front, how you want to dispense the items into the system, or what you want to do with the back, how you can dispose of those items. My recommendation is that you place a hopper at the end of the system, and then place a chest right over here. However, my recommendation what you should do with the front is with the use of temporary blocks, place two more observers facing with the face facing that way. Now just add a row of blocks over here to close up the system, make yourself a platform and add in the redstone current. Now every single time we activate this redstone current, all the node blocks get activated, locking in the LAs to drop the items. Now you want to place a block here to block up the entrance and place a dropper two blocks in front of it. Place a block on top and a block behind the dropper and then place two redstone bits on top of it. Extend this three blocks and then build a 2x4 platform below like this. And place three redstone over here, a comparator facing into the block. Now place two redstone repeaters facing into the comparator and set them at four redstone ticks. Then place two redstone repeaters facing in the other direction on the other side. Then place a block over here and two redstone bits over here. And lastly, set the comparator in subtraction mode. Now when there is nothing inside of the dropper, everything is silent. But as soon as you place in blocks, the dropper will start to drop the blocks at the rate at which the LAs are able to pick it up. So every three seconds. Now just enclose the dropper by placing four blocks like this and then come in with your water bucket and place it like this over here. Then wherever we placed the packed ice before, in this gap over here, you want to come in with a sign and block the water. Then you want to come in and place a water bucket on the next block after the packed ice. But be careful, since this over here is a slab and this over here is a stair and you don't want to waterlog them, so place the water on the wool block over here. Now you can come in with your glass and block up the water stream so that you can see how the items get dispensed but you won't be able to interfere with the system. 
Place a glass block on top of the dispenser, two blocks on the sides, then three redstone bits on top. Then change these two stairs to full blocks over here if you want, and place a series of blocks over here to bring the redstone current down. You should have something looking like this now. Now add in a hopper line into the dispenser and place a chest on top of the hopper. So now whenever you add in items into this chest, they will get funneled into the dispenser. The dispenser will dispense them, turn on the redstone system, which will dispense the items at the correct speed for the LAs to pick them up and will activate the node blocks every single time an item gets dispensed. These node blocks will lock in the LAs and make the LAs drop the items which will get instantly picked up by the hopper minecart below and funneled into the corresponding chest. Now this is optional and should not break the system, but if bats annoy you, then you need to place a button in front of every single node block to spawn proof the block. So just stop the water real quick, and then in front of every single node block, break the two stairs, place in the button, and then place the stairs back. Repeat this with every single node block. Then when you're done, just add in the water back and your system should be 100% complete. One more thing that you can note is that if you don't like the node blocks to be sounding every single time the dropper drops an item, you can hook the node blocks to a separate redstone clock which only activates every 25 seconds and which is only turned on when the dropper is activated. Alright, so these are the items I gave the LAs and let's make a quick test to make sure that the system works. So, let's just come in, in this chest, and place all the items, which will start to get dispensed. And as you can see, the LAs should be picking them up, and nothing should go into the overflow. As soon as the item gets dispensed, it gets picked up by the corresponding LA. And after all the items have been funneled through the system, we have nothing in the overflow and everything got into its corresponding chests, as you can see over here. Well, that was it for this video. If you liked the sorter and are probably going to build it in your world and this video helped you, consider liking and subscribing. Bye!